Hello and welcome back to Choice Bits of Bliss. We are already in week two layout shares of 30 days of sketches for Christie's Beautiful Life. And this is series 14. I'm trying to make sure I get this all in. <laughs> it's early in the morning and my brain is moving like it's marching through mud. Okay, I think I got it all in. This is series 14. And... I have created, now I created all my layouts back in February, so I was ready to go. I just couldn't do the videos. Anyway, for day 10, this sketch is created by Sarah Davies, and this is my take on it. This is my little man sitting in at the fence in front of the White House when we were in Washington, D.C., the very first time we ever went. And I really like this layout. Let me tell you something funny about this paper. This is a paper here that I have hoarded for a very long time. And it had the branding strip on it. Now, since February, when I cut the branding strip off, I've already forgotten who the manufacturer was. I, I no longer remember. But as long as I had that manufacturer strip on there, it's a company that's gone out of business. I could not let go of it. That's how weird my brain is. And I'm having to fight it. And one of the things I'm doing is just getting rid of the branding. If I am on the fence about keeping something or getting rid of it, if the thing I love about it is who it's made by, but I don't actually love the design, you know what? I need to part with it. This one, I like the design, and apparently I like the manufacturer too. So I took the branding strip off, I used it, and I, I like how this turned out. That was a long tangent, but I'm telling you, I'm going through a process in my space. I'm really going through a process, and I'm learning some, some sometimes not so great things about myself. Okay, here we are. This is day 11. Tara Van Morsell designed this layout or this sketch <clears throat> and I've just recently discovered her channel she does great great content so anyway this is my little man when he was in the Alice in Wonderland play at his school and I just titled it I'm late I'm late you know those multicolored um alphas sometimes you can match up the colors and get your words and that's his little cousin because she had come to see him perform day 12 is created by Pamela Likens Cook and this is these are all photos of me holding a great niece at one of our family get-togethers and that's one of the first things I do I go for the babies I love 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 little babies and I love snuggling them and just <sighs> you know what I need to find a job where I get to hold babies all day long that would be the perfect life and Day 13 was created by Amanda Castle. Now she has journaling around the edge and I did not do that. But this layout, this is both of my boys. This is my oldest son. And you can tell these are like 10 years apart. But anyway, that's part of the things that my boys like to look at. They like to look at the things in the background and see the different, how things were different when they were born. That's another tangent. Anyway, this is my oldest son. He's got on this onesie. Now, my ex-husband is an Auburn fan. And he was adamant that his little one be an Auburn fan. You know, I, I wanted my boys to choose. So anyway, we got them this onesie that's an Auburn outfit. 
when my second son was born, our second son was born, we used the same onesie, took a photo, and then he remains an Auburn fan. He is kind of ambivalent, but he did choose Alabama, so he chose right. <laughs> Anyway, that is an aside that's not important to anyone. <laughs> this layout on day 14 was created by Stacy Donner Tuari. And she has hers going this direction. I turned the layout and have them going this way. These are photos that have been passed around my family of my grandparents. Now, this is one of my older brothers, but this is my Momo. This is Momo and Papa. And this is how photos used to be. You didn't have a thousand photos for a month. You just maybe had two or three. And this is what, this is these, these photos of my grandparents. We've passed from, you know, the... Someone took a photo of a photo, and so we have the digital, and then we give it to everybody. So that's what these are, are made from. These are photos of photos. I don't even know who has the originals, and I printed them out. Day 15 is created by Lisa Caneo. And once again, I may be mispronouncing. So one of the things that I did, because this looks like a half and half or a happy horizontal, and she has strips coming down. So I decided to use a lined paper to represent those strips in the creation. And she has stitching across the top. I did my stitching across the band in the middle. And this is... When he was in the play, he was sitting in the wings and he's looking out at the crowd and then he sees his mama taking pictures of him and he's got a, this little smirky grin. I love that kid. Day 16 is uh, created by Ashley the Scrapping Nerd. And he is in the middle of acting. He is performing. Day 17 is created by Lisa Marie. That's the sketch. And here's my layout. He is once again in the middle of performing. And that is my share for this week. Thank you for joining me. I hope, I hope, I hope you're going down and looking at as many videos as your heart can handle or going to the Facebook group and just looking through the images that are being shared. There is so much inspiration during the 30 days of sketches. Come back and we'll chat again soon. Bye-bye.